Hi, what I've got here is a TS100 soldering iron. I've heard great things about these little soldering irons. I thought it was about time I actually got hold of one. So let's take a look. This is how it came. Beautiful packaging, very swish. Very classy, so it looks like it's the real deal. What we've got here. Some little safety instructions. I'm sure that I'll never read. Okay, there you go, you've got your little hex key, allen key, a couple of bolts to actually put the um, soldering tips in, I believe. What's this? Instructions. We won't be looking at those. That will keep there. And here it is. Very nice. So here's the main part that does your heat temperature. So this is a variable temperature gauge, I think they call it a thermostatic. If you're after technical review, you're probably in the wrong place. Right, so here's the tip. We'll just go straight in. We'll have to obviously loosen the bolt, which is where this key comes in useful. slots straight into place. Tighten up the end. And there we have it. It's a very nice soldering iron. Very well made. I mean, if you're into FPV and you're going to do soldering, then this is probably one of the soldering irons that you should consider getting. I had a big, cheap, nasty job, which was, it was too big, it was too bulky, but this, this actually looks, looks very handy. I've got a test pad here, so I will be setting this up and showing you how this actually does solder. Okay, so there it is, lovely device. I've got a actual power adapter. So let's power it up. You can actually power it. You can, this is supposed to be a portable actual soldering iron, so you're supposed to take it out in the field with you. You can get a XT cable and power it off a, a full life, forest lipo, I believe. Press button, and that's what it's telling me to. Press button. Jeez. That heats up very, very fast. Very impressive. I've got a nice little mount here. I can put it on. That's straight up to 300, straight away. So let's get this pad out and let's have a look at it. This is basically a test pad to practice your soldering. Oh, look at that, they even give you some free solder. So Diatone sent me this. Shout out to Rad from Diatone, thank you very much. Bad. Now I 
you used to swear by little clips and jaws to hold it, but what I actually really like these days is my old mate, Blue Tack. Probably the best thing you can get. Grab a ball of Blue Tack. Find yourself a surface. Stick that on there. Stick that on there. <coughs> there. Solder surface. I probably left this on for too long. So what we want to do is conduct some heat into the pad. Transfer it like that. It's all that it's nice and shiny is the way. Let me zoom in a bit, see if you can see this. <clears throat> Probably missed those two that I just did. So transfer your heat. Solder, solder, to me that went pretty well. Transfer your heat, solder, solder, solder. That went pretty well, come on. Order from underneath so it doesn't focus on my hand. Not bad. Very nice little soldering iron this. Very happy. Alright, let's see if we can transfer some heat into this. Bit of solder, 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 solder. Maybe a bit more solder. How did that one go? Yeah, that's not too bad. There we go. So you can do this all day. It's a nice little practice board. Big pads are obviously easier. Transfer your heat. Solder, solder, solder. Nice ball of solder. Transfer your heat. Solder, solder, solder. Lovely. These like your battery connections here. I always find those the most difficult one. I'm probably not going to attempt those on screen. Blue taps coming loose. So there, there you have it. <clears throat> that is pretty decent. Okay, let's zoom out again. All right, there we go, I'm gonna turn this off. Make sure I've cleaned the end. That is a very nice, smart, Let's see if I can focus, are you going to focus for me camera? There we go. There you have it, the TS100. I'm very impressed, I've never had one of these before, like I said I normally have a very cheap um, soldering iron that you can adjust the temperature on it that cost me about 10 pounds this is around 50 to 60 pounds way it heated up was brilliant it literally heated up straight away it's at that temperature no waiting around the tips are a little bit more expensive because obviously they go straight into the actual component that heats everything up so it's all connected the ones that I normally have 
they rattle around a little bit and they don't conduct the heat that well, but they do get there. So yeah, the tips are around 20 to 30 pounds, I'm afraid, but I think they're well worth it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, I'm sorry, it's not a technical review, it's just a review of products I like and I think are worth a shout out. Okay, so if you can subscribe, that would be amazing. Thanks guys, bye.